craziest pastors I've ever met in my life. I love everyone. What's going on, you crazy bastard? You're back here with Rob Kimball Brand for a TNA Impact Wrestling review. And we start off the show with EC3 in the middle of the ring, calls out Aunt D, Dixie Carter. Come on down to the ring. Well, she does come on down to the ring, and she says he's been a great champion, this and that. Well, anyway, later on, if Matt Hardy and uh, Drew Galloway pick up the victory over him and Tyrus, Matt Hardy will be put into the main event at Bound for Glory. Drew Galloway comes out. We have a nice face-to-face -face with EC3 and Drew Galloway. And, uh, well, we get some promos back and forth. And um, this sets up, like I said, the main event for tonight. Uh, it's going to be Matt Hardy, Drew Galloway versus EC3 and Tyrus. And it's set. It is nice. We're building that tension for Bound for Glory. And then we have James Storm versus versus Mahabali Shira in a no DQ match. And um, well, let me tell you what, during this match, James Storm pulls out some of the stops here with the beer and all that. But the eye of the storm have not seen that in a very long time. Through a table and Mahabali Shira kicks out. This was shocking. Did not think that that would happen, but it did. And then eventually the revolution comes on out helps Mahabali Shear pick up the victory. They all turn on James Storm and the revolution is dead. Then we move on to Bobby Roode coming down to the ring and uh, well, he's going on about he's going to have an open challenge at Bound for Glory for the King of the Mountain Championship and uh, he is a proud champion and uh, he wants to allow somebody to come on out for an open challenge. Yes, some may say this is a John Cena ripoff. No. Bobby Roode is TNA, so guess what? This is going to be awesome. And guess who answers? Bobby Lashley comes into the ring. We get Bobby chance, so you don't know who they're really chanting for, which was funny. Lashley thought it was hilarious. But the thing was, he came out respectfully. We shook hands, and Bobby Lashley says, we've had some great matches this year, and yes, they goddamn have. And, uh, well, he wants one more shot. For that king of the mountain championship because he came to tna to collect as many championships as he could he's a two-time tna world heavyweight champion and now he wants that king of the mountain championship which is pretty goddamn cool and bobby Roode grants him that and respectfully handshakes it's awesome it's going to be badass bound for glory here's one kick-ass match to look forward to this is going to be awesome then we move on to some uh X Division type stuff. DJ v, DJ Z versus Tommaso Ciampa versus Trevor Lee in a three-way here. And uh, well, Tommaso Ciampa pulled the Rick Rude tonight. He was on NXT. He was on Impact Wrestling. This guy's all over the place. And uh, is he going to end up landing on one of these companies? I don't know. I hope so. And I, either one, I wish him the best because Tommaso Ciampa's badass in my book. But here in the end. Trevor Lee on his 22nd birthday, hailing from North Carolina, just like the Hardy Boys. He picks up the victory here. This is badass and uh, really good. Happy birthday, bro. Then the Dow House versus the Beautiful People. Yes, the odds are stacked against the Beautiful People with Angelina Love being out with a shoulder injury. And uh, the numbers win. Successful. And... Uh, that's that. The beautiful people, I think, are going to come back eventually, taking this on uh, at Bound for Glory, whatever the hell we're going to go there. But And they really want to get their hands on the one Taryn Terrell. So we'll see what happens there. And uh, Eric Young, he has an in-ring promo. He's God. He's this and that. Just going on. Number one heel of the year. That's right. And, uh, well... Who comes on out? Robbie. He wants a fight. Robbie brings it to him for a moment, but he I just chucks him out of the ring. He has got, uh, you know. And then, uh, well, you have uh, Melendez coming on down and takes care of business. He grabs a chair. He sends EY in retreat. And uh, as he's going up the ramp, oh, Mr. Anderson comes on out. And, uh, well, this turns into all three guys hitting their finishers on EY. You think you're God? Nope. So there is that. 
And then we move on to Hardy and Galloway versus EC3 and Tyrus for the main event. And what I liked about this was it come it came on down to Drew Galloway. He hits his finisher to Tyrus, and uh, EC3's outside of the ring taken care of while Matt Hardy stands guard. Drew Galloway did the right thing. He picks up the victory here, allowing Matt Hardy into the title picture at Bound for Glory. So this makes things very cool. And then Dixie Carter comes on out to the ramp and says, well, because of you, EC3, this man has uh, all the time in the world on his hands, so we're gonna have a special guest referee in. Boom, Jeff Hardy will be the special guest referee referee at Bound for Glory in North Carolina, the hometown of the Hardys. Look out, EC3. I think this just may be that opportunity for Matt Hardy to come close, but I don't think he'll pick it up. And I think what the setup is down the road, Jeff Hardy versus EC3 in a nice long feud once he gets rehabbed, healed up, and uh, gets that leg running and jumping and swan and motherfuckers left and right. That's just my opinion, and Jeff Hardy will be back as the face of the company with the title, and uh, hey, good things. Dave Meltzer, tomorrow, which when you guys watch this will be October. Remember about five, six months ago when he said September, TNA's off destination. We'll see you next Wednesday, all right? <laughs> Until next time, guys. Peace.